previous it just it just ended uh, i didn't end it and um I, i'm not i'm not sure what could have caused that to happen but uh you know okay sarah sarah whatever will be will be i try, I try not to let many things stress me out um just not sure what occurred a while ago guys uh haven't used my phone to do a live for a while so maybe i don't know maybe i did something i i don't think so it just ended um maybe my wi-fi went down maybe one of the two um wi-fi modems went down i have no clue what occurred but um hopefully you guys will find me back because like i said i have no idea what occurred a while ago it just went down um yeah i was saying uh that Although we went through 2020, the fact that we made it through 2020 is a big deal and we should celebrate the fact that we actually survived 2020. I mean, that's a big deal. It's a big deal that we, uh, we made it. Um, so it is, it is uh, conceivable that this year, 2021, and I, and, I, and I am saying this repeatedly to everyone I meet, this is going to be a great year for us all. Uh, this is going to be a year not just for rebound, but this is a year that we are going to um, uh, prosper. This is a year that we're going to be, we're going to beat this thing. We're going to be better as a community because, of course, as you know, um, and I'm going to say this to you, even if you're not aware of it, uh, your thoughts are powerful. Your, your thought, what you think, becomes your reality. There are three things around you that closely impact your, your physical space, your life. Um, the first thing is how you think, your thoughts, your literal thoughts. Um, the things that you are going through mentally, uh, um, the, the things that, that you wake up in the morning thinking about, you think about subconsciously, this is really important. It impacts your life in a very direct, not an indirect, in a very direct way. The second thing that impacts your world um you know jamaican people have a saying we say um show me a company let me tell you who you are um really uh i i don't know what it's like in your country but it's it, what it fundamentally means is the people you surround yourself with will directly impact your world in a real and indisputable way um those people will impact your world so you have to be very careful of who you surround yourself with um, be very careful of who you select as your friends, as your companions, as the people you hang out with, because I guarantee you, it is going to impact your world in a real way. What I'm saying to you is, um, A, to, to change the, uh, your environment, to change your life, yourself, um, is A, you have to start thinking in a manner that is positive and powerful you have to start understanding how amazing you are as a human being and although all of us have insecurities fears doubt and you know all these things i'm saying to you if you want to positively impact your world um we cannot live with the fear and the nightmare of this pandemic we cannot walk over with this horrific thing that has truly impacted us you have to take control of this your very thoughts you know what i'm saying hey mary i have no clue what happened a while ago it just it just shut down i think maybe my wi-fi went so you know that's it so um what i'm saying is it is really imperative and i know this is a very hard thing uh when i hear people th talk about this it they make it seem as if it's easy you know like oh you just uh, you just have to uh you know just uh you know just just change the way you think it's really it's really not that easy um, it's something like everything else. It takes practice. You have to keep going. You have to keep going. Um, yeah, Mary, I, I don't know what happened. You know what it is? Maybe, um, maybe I got up too early. <laughs> maybe, maybe the entire environment around me is in shock because I'm up at, um, 11 AM in the morning. People don't judge me. Don't judge me. People don't judge me. Come on. Don't judge me now. Um, so I think maybe that's it, but it just went down. I, I think maybe, um the wi-fi went down i think maybe that's what happened <laughs> i think that's what happened so i'm saying um it really as terrifying as 2020 was and um the fact that all the stats are telling us that this thing is going to go on for maybe another 12 months i'm saying to you um a 
fight the innate fear that you feel and I feel because yes people I feel the same degree of concern but I know enough to understand that I cannot feed that fear as I said previously if you survive 2020 which unfortunately many of our brothers and sisters and our fellow kings and queens did not it means that there is something about you that a you have been graced and blessed b you have the fortitude and strength to do so and uh, c you have a continued purpose on this plane you have a continued purpose here so i know uh, many of us are at our wits end money's drying up um you know we are not sure about the jobs we are worried about health um but i'm saying to you the first thing that we have to do which is really difficult right is we have to change we have to conquer our fears or at the very least we have to tame it because being fearful is normal it's actually healthy it is natural <laughs> to be fearful particularly in a situation where everything around you is saying panic and be afraid um, that adrenaline that pumps your system when when you are fearful, it's it's something healthy and it's necessary. But I'm saying to you, do not give way to the panic. Look at the obvious. You survived a horrific year. You survived it. It means, as I said, I'm going to repeat, you have a purpose beyond the 2020. There's something there are things left for you to do here too. It means that you are far more resilient and far stronger than you would ever have thought you were. I mean, I'm sure that if someone had told you in 2019 that we were going to experience 2020, you'd have said, listen, I'm out of here. I don't want, listen, yo, I'm <laughs> right. But the fact that you made it through, I'm saying to you, you are a lot more powerful and a lot more special than you think you are. It is imperative that you grasp this and understand that you can do this. You did it. So to tackle the, the, this 2021, the first thing we have to do is we have to repress our fear. We have to tame it. We have to control it. Do not get rid of it because fear, like I said, is important. It is a necessary part of being human uh be, being 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 alive all animals experience fear one level or the other so i'm saying it is necessary but you have to find a way to not make decisions driven solely by fear you get what i'm saying um do not only do things because you are fearful or because in that moment you are terrified um statistically they've proven that most people die um in tragic situations because they panic we are being driven by the fear. So it's natural. Uh, we went through a horrible year um, where I hear people saying, Lord, 2021 is going to be worse. Stop saying that. Stop giving that thought any kind of power because that's the second thing. A, you have to control your fear. You have to tame it. Respect it. It serves a purpose. It is necessary. It is here to inform us. But it cannot control you. B, you cannot allow that fear to force you into making decisions that are not in your best interest or in the best interest of your family or the people you care about. As I said, people tend to panic when they are in a state of fear. Panic. That's really what happens. We panic because we think, oh my goodness, I can't control this situation. This is horrible. This is the worst thing that could possibly have happened to me. What am I going to do? I'm saying to you, control the fear, take a step back and think. The other thing is, stop sending that energy into the universe. Oh my goodness, 2021 is going to be worse than 2020. People stop saying that. That is, you're, you're, you, you, I think we, as human beings, we don't generally understand the power of thought because we are visual creatures. So until we, unless we can see something, we believe that it doesn't exist. You get what I'm saying? 
if we if, if we actually think that unless we can actually see something like you know see it 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 doesn't exist here's what i'm telling you that's not correct it's not correct that thing is going to exist whether or not you want to believe it exists it's it's there it's it's in existence because we are driven by being visual creatures we don't quite understand the power of the mind and our thoughts so if you enter this year saying oh 2021 is going to be worse than the year before oh my goodness it's it's going to be horrible you are giving you are sending that energy into the universe that's going to multiply by maybe a hundred and come right back at you i've learned in my brief existence on this planet that my thoughts created my reality like literally the things that i thought became they became as real as anything could become they became reality um so you have to be careful of the energy that you're sending and that's why i say you cannot submit to the fear you have to you have to tame it you have to understand that it serves a purpose but at the same time you cannot feed the fear don't feed it don't say Oh my God, this is horrible. This is, you know, because I get it. I feel that way often. Many of us, this is a normal human reaction, but I'm saying to you, you are at your very best when you are clear minded. You are at your very best when you are at your most positive. You are at your very best when you think and know when you are convinced that there is a solution to the problem. So stop telling the universe that 2021 is going to be actually worse than 2020. Don't say that. You know what I say to everybody that I see? I say, listen, 2021 is going to be a year where we, are, where we become healthy, wealthy, happy, and wise. We are going to fulfill our purpose in this year. I want you to start saying that. When people say these things, it normally sounds as if it's um, some pie-in-the-sky concept that makes no sense. But let me break it down to you in another way. Everything that you see around you, if you're traveling in an automobile right now, if you are, if you are, whatever you're doing at this point in your very existence, look around you. If there's a desk in front of you, if you have a cell phone in your hand, if you are looking at a PC, if um, the clothes you're wearing, everything around you started with thought. Someone conceived it. Someone thought about it. Someone said, you know what? Um, I'm going to invent a device where I can communicate with my family and my friends and my business people in a much more convenient and faster way. So the truth is everything around you came from thought everything literally came from thought and i know um that doesn't seem rational but it's true think about it everything around you and since we are visual look around you look at what you're seeing in your presence what you're wearing what you have on where you are it was conceived somebody thought of it when i say to people thought becomes life becomes reality I'm saying to you that the, the clothes I'm wearing, thought. The phone that I'm using to do this broadcast, thought. The house I live in, thought. The car, thought. My shoes, thought. No matter what it is, it came from thought. And that means that your thoughts are unimaginably powerful. Your thoughts create reality, literally. Those thoughts become even more powerful when you have two people, three, four, ten, a million, ten million, a billion, seven billion. The more people who commit to that particular thought, it's the more powerful the thought becomes. That thought's being sent out. It's creating literally your reality around you. So if we all enter 2021 saying, oh, it's going to be worse than 2020, we are giving power to that thought, and I refuse to believe that. So I'm, when I say your thoughts are reality, I'm not talking about some pie-in-the-sky concept. 
It's true. Literally everything that you see around you was created from someone thinking about it or a group of people thinking about it. Or someone, someone at some point said, you know what? I, yeah. So it's not, it's not magic or witchcraft, right? It's, it's not pie in the sky. It's, it's literal. Your thoughts are your reality. You create it. And I know because we are visual, we very often don't think about what happens before what we see. But the truth is, it is our thoughts that create, have created everything in your purview. Everything that you see around you. It's your thoughts. You are that powerful. People are that powerful. And when 10 people or 5 people or 20 people commit to a particular thought, the thought then multiplies per person. So if it's 100 people, it's a thought times 100 people. If it's a million, it's a thought times a million people. And they don't teach us this in school. I've never understood why, because this is really, really important. Your thoughts are literal. I want you to grasp that. So you cannot enter 21 believing that it's going to be the worst year. No matter what the temptation is, no matter what you live through in 2020, no matter how uh, terrified you are, and it's okay to be terrified. Nothing is wrong with that. I just want you to understand that it is imperative that you realize the power of your thought as a single person. And let me, let me expand on this concept. Even as a single human being, you can alter reality. It was a single person who came up with the concept of a computer. It was a, a single person who said, you know what? I'm tired of using a horse and buggy. I need to find a way to convert a steam engine. It was a single person who came up with the concept of a steam engine. It was a single person who said, I don't want to live in a cave anymore. I want to create some environment that I can, I can control how it looks and feels and live in it, a house. So even as a single person, and they try to tell you otherwise, and when I say they, I'm talking about um, the establishment. Sometimes inadvertently the establishment or purposefully tells you that you are not as powerful as you think. So it tries to repress you. It tells you, it gives you misinformation. And I'm not talking about some Illuminati thing, because I don't know. I'm just talking about the fact that a lot of the information that we are given, consciously or unconsciously, represses our sense of our own power. Every single one of you is powerful. Every single one of you can impact your immediate environment directly, in a very direct way. Every single one of you has the capacity to change the world around. And I know that's easier said than done. I know it's not, you know, and I can take you through the steps of how you can do it. But I'm saying to you, your thoughts are powerful. You cannot enter 2021 saying, oh my gosh, oh, what's going to happen? Oh. A, that's not going to help you. And B, you are underestimating your capacity to impact your environment. And like I said, you don't believe that human beings can alter things with their very thoughts just look around you and look at all the objects created by thoughts the very things that you use even you being in the kitchen and whipping up i don't know a vegan uh i don't eat meat uh i don't know fixing something to eat it's still thought it's still you applying thought to create something you can create your world so it is imperative that you understand the power of your thought. And it is also imperative that you understand how that thought alters reality. It is also imperative that you understand that you, the individual, are powerful. As a, 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 just as a human being, you can alter your reality. So the other thing is to achieve your greatness, I mean, the things that I know that you're able to do, it's very simple. Be careful of the company you keep. Remember I just said that if you as one human being can impact an environment, if one person, if a Bill Gates, if a, if a Genghis Khan, if a, um, I don't know, 
you know, I mean, I can't, you know, Marcus Messiah Garvey. I, I, if these individuals impacted the world in such a horrific, such a profound way, and they're just people. I'm saying, then imagine if you can find like-minded beings to live that thought with. So if you believe that, for instance, if you say, you know what, I'm going to, this year I'm going to get out of poverty. Um, this year I'm going to buy a house. This year I'm going to complete my college year or start. Imagine if you find two or three or four persons around you who have the same desire, the same concept, the same ideas. Be careful of the company you keep. Find light-minded human beings to hang out with. I'm not saying you should not be open to speaking to all kinds of people because you need other concepts and ideas. But I'm saying if you have a particular purpose, then you need to have people around you who have the same purpose. So, are you getting me? I'm not saying isolate yourself from the world. I'm saying if one person can alter the, your entire existence, if you can change your environment, imagine if there are two or three or four or five or six of you, the power that you have. I'm talking from my own experience in the people. I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not a billionaire or anything, but I'm simply saying that I have had moments in my life where I've come to the real I came to the realization that the situation I was in, it was because of my own thoughts. It was because of my own fears, my own, uh, my own, my own deep-seated um, misconception. I've had moments when I had to realize that wait a minute, I am a lot more influential to my environment than I than I want to believe or I think. Um, oh, if you're hearing the noise, I'm outside, so there are workmen working all over the place, so just, you know, I hope it's not distracting you. I'm just saying it is really imperative that you understand how amazing you are. And I understand that it is, it is natural for us to be fearful and live within a concept of fear. Hey, Mr. Fulton, thank you so very much for sharing us out, my brother. Uh, thank you so much. Um, but I want you to understand your power. And if, if I can only reach one human being, because it, it was other people who made me understand my power. So, A, you survived 2020. B, it's okay to be fearful, but you cannot allow your fear to control you. You have to tame your fear. Do not get rid of it because it serves a purpose. C, it is imperative that you understand that you can control and change your environment. And I'm not talking about magic. I'm talking about something that is fact. I'm talking about something that you do every single day of your life. Because every day of your life, you actually impact your environment. You impact the people around you. And you have created things throughout your existence. You have changed things in your very existence. And this is, this is not a guess. When you create a meal, you're changing your environment. Literally. When you decide that, hey, you know what, I'm going to do a degree in this, or I'm going to complete my, my, my high school diploma, or all of that is you changing your existence. I'm saying change, change your thoughts and become more positive in how you see the world. It is not hairy fair. It's not magic. You are able to change the world. And I know very, very often we say, we say to each other, and we say to ourselves, boy, I'm just one person. How can I change the world? But many single persons have changed the world. You see in Bolt run, what, 9.58? When they thought nobody could run below a certain speed? I mean, they literally thought it couldn't be done. He changed the world. Um, there have been so many people have impacted our lives that we don't even realize it. And what happened is they had a thought. They had an idea. D. A, B, C, D. Yes. <laughs> D. Be careful of the company you keep. Surround yourself with like-minded like beings. 
together, you are a more, more powerful. So really be careful uh, of who you have around you. Teach your children this. Be careful of the company you keep. Be careful of who you have in your purview. Because they're going to impact your life. You know, uh, imagine, um, uh, uh, what's his name from Apple? Steve Jobs saying, you know what? I think I want to be able to bring a computer, make a computer way smaller than an entire room and bring it to the average human being and make it interactive. And imagine if his friends said, Steve, you idiot, that can't happen, Steve. Steve, the matter with that. That's not going to work. But I'm sure he had people around him, who, some who said that, but I'm sure he also had people around him say, yo, Steve, this is a brilliant idea. Be careful of the company you keep. Be careful of who you have impacting your life. Because you have the capacity to choose those people. All right? Finally, set your goals for this year. Set them. Set your goals. You cannot subsist an existing fear. It makes no sense. A life of fear is a waste of energy and time. As I said at the beginning, fear is relevant. It is necessary. Fear gives us that. Uh, fear tells us to be careful. Fear tells us this may not be the right path. Fear tells us that might be the wrong person. That instinctual thing that we all have. But at the same time, if fear rules you and controls your life, it can be devastating. So don't get rid of your fear, but tame it. Control it. So make your New Year's resolutions, people. I have several for this year. Make your own. Keep fighting at it. In 2019, uh, actually at the end of 2018, I severely herniated my disc. I'm talking about it was really bad. I had to be in bed for between three to four months. Certainly the first three months, I could not get out of bed, but I was able to crawl in and out after the last, in the last, four, in the fourth month. And I had a few persons who said, a few doctors who said, boy, you can't work out again. You, know, you can't do anything like that again. You, know, you, you have to be, you know, right? Um, oh, you are illustrating a book and more painting. Oh, that's cool. I look forward to purchasing that book. I'm going to purchase that book. Because I'm using the phone, um, the comments just come up and then they vanish. So I, I can't see everything that you're saying, Marianne. Make your resolution. It is okay to believe in yourself. Um, in Jamaica, I don't know if wherever you're from, they say this, but in Jamaica, they say the humble calf drinks the most milk. It's a lie. If you've ever been on a farm, that's, <laughs> that's really not true. Calves have to be really aggressive to get the milk from their mom, especially if it's several calves. They fight for that teat. Don't believe that. I'm not saying you should not be humble, but don't confuse um, passivity and humil and uh, passivity with being assertive. You need to be assertive. Take control of your life. You are a king. You are a queen. You are royals. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You are in control. You got this. You have to start believing in yourself. Not easy, but you have to start. Okay? Um, hello, oh, oh, is it Oja from California? I haven't, I didn't even see that person's, um, because it keeps coming in and out, keeping coming in and out. Welcome to the stream. My first. Hey, Susie, what's going on? My first early live stream, Susie. I have never... Susie, I'm not even up at 11 a.m. <laughs> but since I did the live stream yesterday, I say, you know, it's okay, Marianne. Have a great day. You know? So let's go through these very quickly. Believe in yourself. 
You are remarkable. It's okay to be fearful, but don't allow the fear. Hey, Deandre, how you doing? It's okay to be fearful, but do not allow that fear to control you, to help you make your decisions. You survived 2020, so it means that you have a purpose beyond 2020. It means that you are more resilient than you thought. Do not send that negative, oh, this is going to be a horrible year. Oh my gosh, it's going to be worse than last year. Stop telling the universe that because your thoughts literally create your environment. Your thoughts literally create everything around you. Literally. Do not do that to yourself. If you, again, I'm going to repeat, if you do not believe that your thoughts create your environment, look around you and look at all the objects in your purview that were created by someone's thought. In fact, everything around you was created by thought. Oh, how is your trod, Susie? How is it? Deandra, how are you doing? Marian, have a great day. So your thoughts are powerful. And because your thoughts are powerful, oh no, it's nice and warm here in Jamaica. It's nice today. Last night was chilly, but it's very nice here in Montego. So your thoughts literally create your reality. So be positive. Think positively. Fight through the fear. Remember what I said earlier, that most people are hurt in situations where they panic because when you panic, you don't think. When, they're, when their decisions are driven by fear, we tend to make mistakes. And trust me, here, here, I've done that a few times in my life. So I'm t speaking from experience. It is best to think the process through. And because you realize that your thoughts are powerful and it's not magic, you know, it's just like I said, just look around you at all the things that you're using that were created by someone's thoughts. The place, wherever you are now, there is some structure there, there's some object there that came from th someone's thought. And because your thoughts are powerful, if you want to get ahead and succeed, then you have to surround yourself with positive, like-minded thoughts. You cannot uh, be surrounded by people who are constantly pulling you down mentally. That's a really important, it took me a very long time in my life to learn this. It's not healthy for you. You have to surround yourself with positive people. Um, they don't, they, like-minded beings who understand the power of thought and who believe in you and your purpose who believe that you can achieve whatever you choose to achieve lastly make your resolutions 2020 will be a much better year than 2021 will be a much better better year than 2020 the fact that you are here in 2021 says you have a purpose for this year there is something else that you are meant to do like I said, unfortunately, many of our brothers and sisters, our fellow kings and queens, did not make it into this year. But you have an extended opportunity. And even for those people, you should make the most of your opportunity to spend more time on this plane. Okay, guys, thank you so very much. I have literally never done a live this early. Um, I'm amazed that anybody's even in the live. <laughs> um, but uh, I think this is a message I really want to get across. So I might do another live later tonight, maybe about 8 p.m. Uh, tonight at 7 p.m. I will be um, I will be doing my I will be premiering my next uh, uh, video right here on Blacklight Records. Please check it out. Um, and I think I may do a live at a little after that vlog, maybe about seven, seven ish, because this is something that I really want uh, people to get across. It's really imperative that we understand that this is important. Your thoughts are powerful. There is a way to get over this process and you are winners. And I believe in you. You need to start believing in yourselves. All right. I love all of you. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, not much of us, but it doesn't matter. A few of us are here, and as long as the message is heard, it's imperative. You all have a great day, Susie. You know you are special, Mary, and you know you are special. Uh, Mr. Fulton, thank you so very much for sharing me out. Um, uh, uh, Deandra, 
you know I love you. You are an amazing human being. You are all winners. Uh, so I'm going to probably do this live again so I, we can get some more people in the building because I think what I'm speaking about is imperative and I'm determined this year to share some of my experiences with all of you. By the way, I'm actually thinking of writing a book about my experiences as a reggae artist. An honest book, not a, oh, it was all fun book. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure but there's a high possibility. Again, this is my birthday month on the 29th of January. It's my birthday. If you want to send me something, the PO box, the post office box number is 6556. Um, uh, Half Moon PO. <laughs> Rose Hall St. James, Jamaica. There's no shame in my game, people. No shame, you know, no shame. <laughs> so, okay, I love you guys. I see you guys at least at 7 p.m. tonight. Thank you so very much for coming out. Let me see, how do I end this? Because I've never even used this before. Nobody laugh at me. See, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to end this. Nope, that's not it. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I won't. Susie, you know, the problem is I, because I'm using the phone, right? Because, oh, hold on there, guys. One of the reasons I decided to do it on the phone, let me see if I can switch it around, is I wanted you guys to see some of my backyard farm. I don't know how far I can go because we might get cut off. I'm not sure. Uh, I think yesterday i showed you this this is if you've never seen it june plum this is a young banana sucker it there's a lot of stuff here people one of the, the one of several banana trees you can see them that uh, they produce honey bananas uh go check out some of my i have some videos up on the backyard farm I don't know how far I can go, so I can't venture. Uh, even beyond the fence, I've planted. We've planted stuff beyond the fence. If you can see it, but there's some other stuff. Uh, um, I when I do it alive again, maybe a little late in the afternoon, I'll let you guys see. It. But anyway, all right. Have a have a great day, and um, I love the whole of you. And um, I will see you guys later tonight, uh, 7 p.m. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure I'll probably just do another live again tonight. All right. Uh, let me see how I end this. Susie, do you know how we, I end this on the phone? Nope. That's not it. <laughs>